Come out from the bush. We're asking you to come and surrender because we don't want you to suffer in the jungle. Your wives will become widow. Come and surrender. We're asking you to If you didn't know surrender. better, you might think this is a scene from Sierra Leone's bloody civil war. One gang of soldiers taunting another group to come out of the bush and fight. We are waiting for you. Waiting for you. If you say waiting you want to you. fight, we will fight to the last bullets. But the soldiers they are trying to provoke are too disciplined to respond. Instead, under the guidance of British mentors, they are planning a coordinated attack for the next morning. Your mission is to destroy all enemy on objective four in order to defeat POG forces within AOR. They are part of the month-long Advanced Infantry Reconnaissance Course. They spent the last week tracking and attacking an enemy force that is withdrawing through the jungle. For a lot of them, this is their, their natural environment living in the jungle. Um, so, you know, they're, they're good at supplementing their food with local wildlife. I had, uh, I had frog stew this morning um, for, for breakfast, which was interesting. So they are robust and they are, they are very, very keen to learn. This is one of the toughest courses in the Army. Those who graduate have a good shot at joining the country's elite force reconnaissance unit. So no one wants to drop out before it's all over. You might you need antibiotics, and you might need IV antibiotics, you know, from a drip into your, into your vein, because it's quite, it's quite a bad infection. This soldier only came forward when the pain in his hand grew too great to endure. Another soldier cut his leg open nearly two weeks ago. He tried to treat it himself by crushing an aspirin tablet and packing it into the wound. Because they have serious infections, both soldiers will now be evacuated to hospital and miss the final attack. They don't want to go because they fear they'll fail the course. Warren Officer Stokes tells them they have no choice. Your safety and your health is, is the thing that counts right now. Right? You've done enough on the course now to tell us whether you've passed or failed. Yeah? Gentlemen, our mission, our mission is to destroy all enemy on Objective 4 in order to defeat POG forces within AOR. Just before last light, the soldiers received orders for tomorrow morning's attack on the enemy's position. Even after four weeks of training, there's still room for improvement, like navigating with a map and compass, or delivering highly detailed orders. No, it's, the, it's the details of before they, they go, they go it's, they've got, the, they've got the, the, um, the process, but it's the detail. One of the big problems we have in our, in our army is we all converge on the, on the enemy position and we bunch up with the Syrians, strange enough, they spread out and they bypass or they, they don't attack the position um, as much as we'd like them to do so. So I'd, I'd like to, tomorrow to see them actually assault through the position and fight through in their, in their units and their pairs. Come surrender now, not so that they kill now all. Today, today we are going to be able to Today, this is the final battle. The final attack is over, but now they have to get out of the jungle, and there are still a few surprises. The soldiers have one more challenge to face. That's a thousand meter stretcher carry, and the finish line is right behind me. Come on, 
After seven days in the bush, the hardest part of the course is finally over. I mean, it's, it is you know, a hugely rewarding job to see young soldiers, young officers who have very little um, in terms of equipment from you know backgrounds that we can hardly imagine, but are still still hugely keen and hugely professional and, and think of themselves as professional soldiers. Right, demo, fight hard, die well. And anything that we can do to to enhance that is hugely rewarding. You know, you really do feel as though you're, you're making a difference. Weapons pointing into the ground in front of you. Into the ground. On low. Magazine off. I've trained Botswanans, Kenyans, and I think purely for a money basis and the country's poor, I think these are some of the best soldiers in Africa. IMAT's British and Canadian advisors won't be here forever. Um, we need to let them take the reins and do it themselves, because if we don't move on soon, they'll never be able to do it themselves. Well done, gentlemen. The next time this course runs, Major Moses Gordon will be in charge. I have a small present for you, but please ensure that uh, you just take a pint, a pint of your choice. On that note, thanks very much. <laughs> Of the 50 soldiers who started this course a month ago, 42 have passed. They'll now form the nucleus for several new battalion reconnaissance platoons. For Army News in Sierra Leone, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Mike Vernon.